I was in the toilets at the tunnel club one time and there were two blokes having a piss next to each other. And one says to the other one, it's been a good night, hasn't it? The other one goes, yeah, yeah. But if Malcolm gets his bollocks out, it's going to be a great night. And they weren't joking, that, that was true. <laughs> if he did, and he often did. So it was often a great night. They used to heckle off all the acts, uh, sometimes within 20 minutes. And any other club, that would be a disaster. Now, oh, 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 you know, the whole entertainment for the evening, everyone finished within 20 minutes. But for the tunnel, that felt like a victory. It, was, uh, it had a bear pit atmosphere, a bit like, uh, you know, Christians and Lions sort of thing. Um, they, they, they used to enjoy heckling. You couldn't, one thing you could not do is come down here and uh, do your act like you do anywhere else on the circuit. Uh, they could spot that a mile off, someone just, just do, trotting out their act. So that, that's when they would start heckling. Um, I, got, I got heckled here, I got coined on. That's unusual, isn't it? Co they threw coins as I came on. Um, they used to develop a round system to get people off. I'm, I've had this where people go, uh, off, 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 fuck, off, fuck, off, 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 fuck, off, fuck, off. Cab, Simon Munnery, I'll pay, so will I, pass the hat round. Uh, uh, it wasn't worked out, it was spontaneous, but they, they, uh, they were very good at the heckling. Well, the Tunnel Club wasn't really like anywhere else. Uh, I played the first night there, and I remember guessing there, I got a train to Greenwich, and then you'd walk along in front of the, along by the river in front of the Royal Naval College, these fabulous buildings designed by Wren, but then you'd be along by these factories, sort of, and lights coming on, and puffs of gas, and, but no one there, and it was a Sunday night it was. And, and by the time I got there, I was kind of spooked out. And there it was, the tunnel. This sort of mock Tudor old place standing in a, by itself in the kind of garbage next to the gas works at the opening of the um, Blackwell Tunnel on the south side. And it, I mean, really just to get there was like a kind of adventure. And um, the comedy store was a bit West End, you know, and then you'd have out of town people, foreigners. Uh, the tunnel was very much that area, Greenwich. These were South London people. And um, it was a much rowdier place. And uh, the, the audience were almost like an act in themselves. And the ringleader was Malcolm. And, it, you know, Malcolm loved things to go wrong. And it often went wrong at the tunnel. But that was part of the pleasure of it. It had a kind of... There was, there was, there was a punk, you know, had come around and, and this was sort of a comedy version of it in some way. Uh, my brother had a, a Honda 50 monkey bike, it was called at the time, tiny little motorbike, which I, uh, at the time, being about 18 stone, looked totally ridiculous on. So Malcolm thought it would be a good idea if we got three scaffold boards, two outside as a ramp, through a window at the tunnel club, and then down at the third scaffold board onto the stage. So he would introduce me, and I would come roaring up the scaffold pole, through the window, down onto the stage, da -da -da, be the best entrance ever at the tunnel club. Me, like a fool, believed in Malcolm. Thought, yeah, this will be the best. What we hadn't planned, we'd planned the ride up and we'd planned the ride down, but we hadn't actually attempted to go through the window up until now. And as I went through the window on the motorbike, the pocket of my jeans caught in the, the window handle I shot round to the right and the motorbike shot round to the left, annihilating a table of four people. They just got hit by a 50cc motorbike. And the motorbike, Malcolm sort of wandered over, turned the motorbike off. I picked myself up from this pile of glass and chairs at the side of the stage, walked on and started as if nothing had ever happened. And it was probably the best engines I think I've ever had in my life. And nowadays, that would, that would have been it. That would have been the club shut down, health and safety. The four people would have been suing us for, for everything. But no, they were all cut and bruised and bits of chair sticking out their head and stuff. But they loved it. Well, that place was an enigma. It really was. You could get away with doing anything. And most people did. <laughs>